Hi everyone, we're here today with uh, Rick Chin, who is our Director of Product Innovation here at SolidWorks. And for the past few months, Rick has been hard at work on our newest product, which uh, we're calling SolidWorks Sustainability. Some of you might have seen this before at SolidWorks World 2009, uh, where it was going under the code name SolidWorks Stage. Uh, some good news, this is going to be live uh, as a beta version, available for everyone next week which is the week of June 22nd on the SolidWorks Labs website. So before that happens, I thought I'd come in here and, uh, and talk to Rick and see what he could tell us in advance uh, about SolidWorks sustainability. Hi, everyone. So what can you tell us? Um, the whole point of this product is to help engineers and designers understand the environmental impact of their designs. And we've embedded it right into SolidWorks in such a way that it's really easy to improve your design on an ongoing basis in an effortless way. So I understand that uh, it uses a term called life cycle assessment. Yes. Um, what can you tell us about that? Well, we've partnered with a company called PE International out of Stuttgart, Germany, and they've been in this business of life cycle assessment for uh, almost 20 years now. And what we're doing is we're using their database, and again, we've built it right into SOLIDWORKS to do this thing called life cycle assessment. Look over here very quickly. Um, let's see. Oh, pardon me. So you're in SOLIDWORKS right now? Yes. But what I wanted to show you was okay. this, this quick little graphic. And the graphic shows uh, what life cycle assessment looks at. And it takes into account everything. So if I've got a, a part that built that's made out of aluminum, we look at bauxite being mined out of the earth and turned into aluminum, milled, the, assembled into the final product, which is used by the consumer. And then at the end of the life of that particular product, the, it's disposed of, which could be things like being tossed in a landfill or recycled. And so you look at that entire life cycle and you measure a number of environmental impacts, one of which is uh, carbon footprint. So what else can you show us? Uh, can you give us uh, an idea of how this uh, actually works? Okay, we can actually step right into the product. So. Um, I've got a SOLIDWORKS part up on the screen right now. It's a die-cast aluminum part, and I want to understand what the environmental impact of this design is. So I'll go to the Evaluate tab and activate Sustainability Express. So what happens is we'll grab the material that's been specified in the part. We'll look at the size of, of the part itself. We make some initial assumptions on where it's going to be manufactured. Here's Asia, where it's going to be use, which is North America, and then down here at the bottom of the screen is our environmental impact dashboard. And this will update real time and tell us exactly what the environmental impact of this design is. So in addition to carbon footprint, it also tells us the total energy consumed during the entire life cycle and the effects on air and water. And again, this will update real time, so any changes I make will be reflected here in the dashboard. So, for example, um, we're going to um, the product. Its final destination is the United States, uh, but we're manufacturing in, in China. What if we wanted to move manufacturing closer to the U.S. and see what the effects on environmental impact are? So we'll just click on North America in the um, on the map for uh, manufacturing region. And again, you can see that the dashboard is recalculating. And the bars will either appear in red or green. Since they're green, they're telling us that we've improved the environmental impact of the design on each one of these different axes, in carbon footprint, energy, air, and water. And so we can go through this iterative process of it improving the environmental impact of the design. So we can look at the regions. We can look at how the part is, is manufactured. Again, in this particular case, it's die-casted. And we can look at the materials that we use to make, to make this part as well. In this particular case, it's a 1060 aluminum alloy. And I can select from any one of the materials that are defined in SOLIDWORKS. But maybe I don't want to click through this list one by one to evaluate the, the um, environmental impact. So we added a great tool called Find Similar. And frankly, I think this is a tool that everybody is going to find a lot of use out of, not just people that are interested in sustainable design. So anybody that has any interest around materials can come into the tool and click on Find Similar. What it does is it takes the mechanical properties of the 1060 aluminum alloy and it adds it to the mechanical property list. Now you can tell it which of these properties am I interested in filtering on. So let's say I want to look for a material that's lighter than this aluminum, yet stronger 
based on these particular properties, such as the elastic and the shear modulus. I want to ensure that the tensile strength is greater as well as the yield strength. And then I'll ask the system to look through the SOLIDWORKS material database and find a material that meets the, um, those criteria. If rather than giving me 30 or 40 materials, it's shown me four. Uh, beryllium is probably a little too exotic for this application, so let's click on the 356 aluminum alloy. But when I do, look down here at the dashboard. When I click on it, I'm going to be able to see how does the 356 compare to the 1060 aluminum alloy. And again, you can see on every single axis, we've actually increased, or excuse me, improved the environmental impact of that particular design. So we'll go ahead and we will accept the 356 aluminum alloy, which is then applied to the part. And um, if we'd like further details on what's going on, I can click on any one of these boxes in the dashboard. So we click on carbon footprint, we can see how the, uh, the current material, the 356, compares to the previous one on all these different inputs. Inputs being the material I selected, the manufacturing process, where it's being manufactured, where it's being used, and the end of life, again, the recycled or, or thrown in a landfill. So it's a great way to kind of understand and get real-time feedback on the environmental impact of your design. And since it's so easy and so fast, you can actually easily make it a part of your design process. That's really cool. And uh, I think I remember something about there being an actual report that this can generate as well. Yes. Can you show us that? I certainly can. So, um, so this is an example of one of the report templates we're creating right now. And the idea is that this is a customizable report. So you'll be able to put your company logo and company contact information, your contact information as the engineer or designer. So again, this is a reflection of the work that you're doing. And then we auto-populate it with images of the model, stats on the model. Again, where it's going to be manufactured, where it's going to be used, and then information on the environmental impact of that design. Again, the carbon footprint effects on water and so on. And so it will reflect all of that. You even have the opportunity to establish something called a baseline. So I can take a previous design, measure it, and then I can see how my current design compares relative to that and what kind of improvements we've made. And then in the back of the report, we've included this graphic, again, to better explain to whoever you're sending this report to what life cycle assessment is along with a glossary of terms. So it's a really nice report that stands on its own. That's great, and I know that a lot of people are going to be really excited to get their hands on this. Um, so let us know one more time uh, when this goes live next week. Uh, where can people find it? They can find it on the SOLIDWORKS Labs website. So that's labs, L-A-B-S dot com, excuse me, labs dot SOLIDWORKS dot com. Uh, there's a bunch of great applications there, and Sustainability Express will be the newest one. Great. Well, thanks a lot for uh, taking time to talk to us, Rick. Oh, thank you. And uh, see you soon. Okay.